We are back at the Angie tree. A while ago, we noticed this, which is unusual. We hadn't really noticed that before. It was just a leaf disease. Plants seemed pretty healthy, but this was concerning. Har, who has seen a lot of diseases on tropical fruit trees and especially mango trees, hadn't seen this one before. So I found a book that I had and looked through it to see what diseases and disorders of mango in Malaysia might have to say about this. So this is uh, stigmina or stigmina or stigmina leaf spot. And it looks very similar to what's on the tree, so that was our diagnosis. I wasn't quite sure, so I contacted my friend down in Trek at the Tropical Research Station down in Homestead and asked what he thought this was. Turns out this used to be known as Cercopsera, and now it has been renamed uh, they call it MALS, which stands for Mango Angular Leaf Spot. The spots are angular, so that's how they got that name. Um, and uh, it also turns out that the same causal organism for this disease is what was mentioned in this book. So basically, this was just another name for the same disease, and this disease is really common all around the tropical fruit growing areas of the world. Cercopsera, which is now known as MALS, as, is present. And it's not a big deal until or unless anthracnose moves in. You know, the, these leaves have like little abrasions on them from the MALS and Anthracnose can move into those spots and become a problem. So, if you notice anthracnose moving in on your leaves, it would be an indication to treat the anthracnose. And if you're really bothered by the uh, MALS, even if you don't have anthracnose, you can treat that with a fungicide. Both the MALS and, of course, anthracnose are funguses. So. One thing I wanted to sort of clarify is that this is Angie and people have expressed concern that Angie is particularly susceptible to this. It is not. Angie is actually known as a rather dis disease resistant variety. It's just that this particular tree and this particular location is where we noticed this disease first. And in fact, after we saw this, we looked at this tree right across the hall, so to speak, and saw that this, this is fruit punch. And obviously it also has the same uh, disease. So a lot of the, tree, the leaves on the tree are healthy. It just has some spots that have this particular disease. So if you notice this particular disease on your mango tree, don't worry, it's very common. It's not gonna kill the tree or anything like that. Uh, most people just live with this MALS and if anthracnose moves in and becomes a problem, treat the anthracnose. Uh, you just use a fungicide, both MALS and anthracnose are funguses. So if you only have MALS, and it's really, really bothering you, uh, the first thing you could do is trim off the affected leaves and also open the canopy up to light penetration and air circulation. Uh, this will reduce the humidity. Basically, it will create a better environment for the leaves. If that doesn't work well, you can spray with a fungicide since MALS is also a fungus and hopefully you'll get the tree that looks really good, pleases you. For us, we're concerned with, of course, the general health of the tree, not so concerned with this 
particular malady at this point in time. Uh, it, it still produces fruit. It shouldn't really significantly affect the production of fruit. Uh, it's a healthy tree. It just happens to have this uh, on some of the leaves. And uh, we'll check back on the tree and see if it goes away on its own with the change in weather.